In this video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to reiterate some claims that I've made in the past, and I'm going to provide a continuance of the evidence to back these claims up. Now, as far back as I can remember, when I started teaching this correct sentence structure communication policy syntax grammar back in 2018, February, I've held the position that the fiction system is not worried about quantum grammar. It doesn't scare them for the simple fact that the fiction system knows that very, very, very few people actually have the tenacity, the gumption, the attention span, and the willpower to learn this grammar. They just don't have what it takes the majority of people. Now, I originally had this held this position and have repeated it from time to time. But as the months rolled on and the years went by, that position, uh, I updated that position. It's actually worse than I thought. That whereas I thought, well, very few people will actually, you know, take the time or have the, the guts or the gumption to learn this, I found out that actually way, way, way fewer people than that uh, possess what it takes, the neurological pathways and everything else to learn this. It's like the 1% of the 1% of the 1%. To put it in a numbers form for you, let's say that... Uh, we have a hundred people who claim to be interested in learning quantum grammar. Okay? hundred people who claim to be interested in learning quantum grammar. And they comment on a video. And then I say, oh, you're interested in learning? Go ahead and email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. And we can talk about setting up some workshops. You can join the classes that I provide to learn it. So out of those 100 people, right away, probably only 25 people are going to contact me. So boom, that's 25% of that 100 contacted me. So 25 people contact me, and I set up a video consultation for each of the 25 people. Now, let's say 100% of those 25 people, okay, that's 100% now. Out of that 100% of the 25 people, 25 meaning 100% of the 25, how many people actually show up to the consultation? Let's be generous. Let's say 20 people show up out of the 25 for the consultations. And then I tell them what it takes to do the classes and do the workshops. And then probably half of those people actually follow through and do workshops. Okay, so 10 people follow through and do workshops. And so now, out of those 10 people, all 10 people do one workshop, let's say. And then out of those 10 people, five people drop out. Like I never hear from them again. Five people drop out for whatever reason. So now we have five serious students moving on to do the second workshop or third workshop or however many workshops. Then out of those five people, probably one of them will actually follow through and complete the curriculum and actually use this stuff in a practical manner. So we started off with 100 people. How many people out of those 100 people actually had the tenacity to learn the grammar? One. One out of 100. One one hundredth. I'm not kidding. This is what I've learned over the last five years. So I'm going to show you a little experiment that I did today where I began early uh, off in the morning 
posting links, posting, you know, stuff that said on YouTube that said, watch this space in my community section. I will be posting a link to a confidential Zoom location. If you have questions, you know, about the grammar and you'd like to ask them in the confidential, this will be a group meeting. I'll post a link. You just have to credential yourself correctly. You have to have your correct name. Your video and your audio must be working and you must be respectful. And uh, I'll post the link and you can join in. I did that. I posted the link up. I left it up for like over an hour. Um, and I also created a one minute video published because I know sometimes the community section doesn't show up in a feed, but I know if I publish a video, it will show up in a feed. So I published a video giving closure to this Zoom link location saying, hey, I'm holding a free live confidential consultation. It's a group consultation. If you'd like to learn about grammar, you have questions, whatever you want to ask me, come on in, click on the link. In a very short period of time, that video got about 40 views, okay? How many people showed up to the consultation, do you think? How many people actually stepped forward up onto the carpet onto the geometric level playing field of communication and showed up? How many? Zero. And this is why I say the fiction is not worried about correct sentence structure because the fiction knows most people just don't have the tenacity, gumption, or courage to step forward for whatever reason. Whether it is a lack of courage, I don't know. I'm guessing. I mean, I'm sure out of those 40 people that saw the video, you know, probably a small percentage of them were not in a position to go to use Zoom or do a meeting. But I know that if, if I see some sort of course or class uh, in some of the groups that I belong to that talk about, you know, oh, you know, give you more information about gold and silver or this type of situation or passports and things like that or things that I'm interested in, if I see that there's a workshop or a class being conducted, even if I'm busy, I'll log in. I just mute myself and don't turn my camera on, but I still listen. I still log in and listen, at least. So I know that that's not really an excuse to say that you're busy. I mean, some people may actually be that busy that they can't do it, but most people aren't, as far as I know, because everybody always has a device in their hand. So I'm just going to take you through a short little video here, giving you a continuance of the evidence as to what happened today when I offered a free video consultation and this is also directed towards those individuals who complain incessantly about how the knowledge is hidden and the fiction tries to hide things and suppress things and that people out there teaching this have exorbitant fees and it's so expensive and it should be free and blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Freebie lovers, this was free. I just want to show you a continuance of the evidence of what I'm talking about when I make the claim that only the 1% of the 1% of the 1% are with the volition of actually learning correct sentence structure, communication, parse, and text grammar. And also that this knowledge is plainly, blatantly un available to the public. Um, so those people that complain that it's being suppressed and that the fiction is hiding it from everyone and blah, 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 is not true. I'm going to show you that. And I've been showing you that for the last couple months during, uh, for, well, for the last month or so during my spontaneous stream uh, series. So let's take a look at my YouTube channel behind the scenes. Here's a video I posted. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go over to the community section of my YouTube channel right now, you will find a live link to a confidential Zoom room where you will be directed to log into a waiting room 
and then I will allow you to come into a special video consultation with me. Now, it's not a one-on-one -on -one video consult. It's a group video consult. It's a one-time only limited edition offer. For those of you who come into my comments field in my chat asking questions, giving criticisms or comments, just voicing your, your opinions, now you have the opportunity to step up onto the geometric level playing field of contract and talk to me face to face. Go to the community section, click the link, and hopefully I'll see you there. Thank you. And so as you can see here, here are the analytics for that video you just watched. 38 views, okay? Two likes. So 38 people saw this video on this channel, and it's only been up for like less than an hour. So 38 people saw it. How many people have clicked on the free confidential Zoom meeting link that I provided? How many people do you think are in the waiting room? Let's go look. Absolutely no one. Zero. No one is here except for me. Almost 40 people have seen the video. Okay? So, out of those 40 or so people, how many people are serious about learning the grammar? How many people are actually literally taking steps to learn the grammar? Zero. Zero. Here is the post. And this post has been up for almost an hour. Two likes. Unfortunately, I can't see how many people have viewed this post. But when you go to that short video that I did to notify people about it, um, there's almost 40 people that have viewed it. Yeah, and, and two people have viewed it in the last you know couple seconds that it took me to, to talk to you about that. Right there. Only two likes, 40 views. public link available for a consultation with me where, you, where it's in the confidential and so we can kind of be more loose about what we're talking about. You can ask me whatever you want. How many people out of those 40 people that have viewed the video are serious about grammar? Like they feel it in their bones. They want to learn it. They want to take the steps. They have the courage, the tenacity, the gumption to actually make that step. How many of those 40 people have clicked on the link and entered the Zoom room to talk to me? Zero. Zero people. This is part of the knowledge cultivation system or program that uh, I've been talking about. That only the fewest of the few of the few are going to be able to do this. It's kind of like in the military how you have the Green Berets uh, or, in, you know, in the, in the Army of the Army Rangers. Very few people, the Navy SEALs, very few individuals have that type of tenacity to actually go forward and do what they need to do to learn those skills. And I just proved right here that zero out of 40 people have the volition of learning correct sentence structure, communication, policy, syntax, grammar. Even though they view that video and are on my channel, Nobody's showing up. So there you have it. Now it's 41 views with two likes. That's it. So there you have it. Just one more piece of evidence in the long line of continuance of the evidence, chain of evidence that I'm showing you that this is why the fiction system doesn't give two craps about quantum grammar the fiction system is not trying to hide it or suppress it. That's not the issue. You are the issue. And yes, I'm pointing to you out there. Those of you who lurk, those of you who are lacking courage to step forward and actually do something about your situation. You're the ones that give the fiction system the impression that they got nothing to worry about. 
They can just go on business as usual because you're not going to do nothing about it. Okay? And again, you know, those of you that say that this stuff is suppressed or hidden, not true. My YouTube channel is public. Over 500 videos here of correct sentence structure knowledge. Conceivably, theoretically, if you had a couple, you know, a year or two to spend on learning this, you could probably learn, you know, 95% of the grammar just from this channel. If you studied it seriously every single day for hours and hours a day. Now, of course, there's an easier way to do it, a faster way to do it. If you contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen, uh, you can apply for a workshop. There is a curriculum with a set of classes. Uh, you learn at your own speed. I'll be your guide. I'll be your tutor. You just have to reach out to me, email me, and you have to put your correct name at the bottom and take authority over your words. And I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consult. Make sure your audio and video is working and we can talk about it to see if you are one of the 1% of the 1% of the 1%, the elite fewest of the few who will actually learn this and gain autonomy over their construct. Outside of that, you can uh, hit the join button at the bottom and support this channel. Support the grammar videos that I do. And that's about all I have for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.